Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're gonna to be going through a sizing guide, this time on the Tom Sachs Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe. So let's take a quick sneak peek. another sizing guide if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button we've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store so today's guide is going to be on the sizing guide as you are probably aware there were a lot of images flowing around of pictures of the Creativity is the enemy, or also known as the archive colorway, being spotted in Kohl's stores. So this is actually a pretty exciting moment. And for those of you who didn't ca catch Tom Sachs' actual in-feed post on Instagram, he did actually leave a message on there saying that if you weren't able to cop a pair around that time period, that not to worry because there were going to be future re-releases and more releases to come as Tom has mentioned before he really wants this to be a sneaker that you don't have to go to on the resale market he wants the sneaker to be accessible unlike of course the space camp mars yards as we know that released in a 1.0 which was extremely exclusive because that was released at a very specific event but also that was released as a 2.0 and the price range on those sneakers is out of this world i mean on the 2.0 alone that price point is ranging from around 5k to almost 10k depending on what size you are but also if you look at the 1.0 because that was so rare there are people who have priced that at twenty thousand dollars so a little bit of a different story on these but i do want to make sure you don't make the mistake that i made when i purchased the boring or studio pair in this kind of beige and blue color tone but i went through true size on this. This was the first time I actually owned this specific silhouette. So I was really just kind of unsure exactly of what my size range would be. Material wise too, this is a little bit different material in the upper portion of the sneaker. So I also wasn't sure about wearability on this, but I did go true size and I felt like it was just really small. So I would definitely highly recommend if you have feet like myself that are high arch and narrow to definitely at least size up half a size. So I was able to actually get a pair in the archive colorway in three different sizes. So I got my true to size, my half a size up range, and then my full size range just to kind of compare to see whether or not the color difference from the studio and the archive were different molds. So I definitely want to see that. I felt like again, the seven and a half size range range was too small. When I went half a size up, I felt like this was really truly my perfect fit. Had a little bit of extra, uh, move a bit, was able to move a bit more in the front of the toe box region. And then on the full size up, I felt like it was just a little too big. I could fit a couple fingers behind the heel. So that just wasn't the right size range. So I would highly recommend going half a size up. If you have flat or wider feet, of course, we have different types of feet. So that could actually differentiate a completely different size from my own uh, but I have witnessed after wearing this as you guys probably saw my video where I took these to Spain if you haven't seen that video go back check it out uh, but this upper does actually start to really kind of manipulate and expand a little bit so I feel like I can still rock my true to size but it definitely took some breaking in over time for me to have just more movement in that toe box region I do have to wear very thin socks with these in order to kind of make it work uh, so if you do wear thicker socks 
again, highly recommend just going half a size up on these. I am a woman size nine typically, which is a men's size seven and a half, but for this one, it seems like eight or a woman's nine and a half is my go-to size range. All right, everyone. So if you are looking to hopefully maybe cop these in a store like Kohl's, it was crazy. All of the rural Kohl's that they selected, Altoona actually was on the map, which is where one of my friends is actually from. So I know where that store is, which is in the middle of Nowheresville. Uh, but really just cool to see that Tom Sachs and Nike have really expanded on where they're releasing these and really just trying to make the sneaker accessible. I do think that this is a really just flexible, easy to style sneaker. So if you haven't copped a pair of these, get out there, go and find a pair and grab one for yourself. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. If you tuned in for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of you coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name's Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode.